In chapter 15 of 1 Kings, we meet two kings of Judah. One who does what is evil in God's eyes, and one who does what is right. Yet even King Asa, who is good, fails to some extent in his dealings with other kings and treaties. I often hear people say that they are good. They think they do good things. God will be happy with them. I think of King Asa, who might have said the same of himself. Yet we have to be careful that our own self-assessment doesn't hide the obvious inadequacies to be called supremely good. Jesus observed that those who profess faith but did not do what God commanded, those who had been unrighteous but had come to faith were in a better place eternally than those who judged those around them. Look at this parable he told the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 21. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. The tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to show you the way of righteousness, but you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. We would do well to watch our professions of faith and make sure our behaviour lines up with it. As we explore 1 Kings 15 further on Sunday, let us consider the actions of Asa. Let's think about our own actions and what we call good. Do we say one thing, but do another? We'll examine this a little bit more on Sunday, and I hope you'll be able to join us. In the meantime, take thought about what you think of as good and what God sees as good. Read through this parable and the second parable that Jesus speaks of in chapter 21 of Matthew's Gospel from verse 33. See you Sunday.